Okay, this is a short little um, video just to give you an idea of what kind of information that you'll be able to uh, gather from the students in your school that go to Summit. Um, when you log in, you'll see a list of all the students here. Now, this list um, is put together by teachers and office staff, and you know, whenever um, we're asked to put a, a student in your school on there. So, um, if everybody kind of works together, we can keep this list um, nice and tight and concentrated and just um, have the active students there that you want. Um, if a student is no longer active there, um, we probably won't take them off unless we're asked to, so just let us know and we'll remove them. And if you see a student that isn't there, uh, again, just let us know and we'll um, add them. And um, a teacher can add them or the office staff can add them. So anyway, once you're in there, um, uh, what you do is just find the student you want to look at um, and click on the name. And when you get there, you'll see some profile information, where they live, um, whatever they've added there. You can actually edit the profile if you don't like what's there. And um, there's another tab for forum posts. Um, if a course has a forum, like an English or socials course, you can see what that student has been writing there. And um, some students have blogs, uh, not too many, but um, you can have a look there if they do. Mostly what you're going to be interested in is the activity of the student in a course. So um, you're going to be looking at activity reports. Now, the way you find that is you look at the course that you want to get some information on, like, uh, for instance, I want to just pick on biology here. And you see it's black now. Um, so now we click on activity reports. And you can see that when you get in there, there's a, an outline of the course, all the assignments and quizzes and all that kind of stuff, and um, how many times a student has viewed a particular item, when they last viewed it, and the grade that they got on any um, thing that's uh, gradable. Uh, so it gives you a pretty good idea, you know, if someone says they were working on the course last week and you go in there and you see that they haven't accessed the course for, um, you know, two months, well, um, that's useful information. Uh, there's some other reports here, you can have a look at them, but basically the outline report and the grade report, because although the grades are here, um, you'll probably want to have a nice, neat, concise uh, grade to see exactly where a student is in the course. And you can see that when you click on there, you get um, a much more concise report there. And it gives you the overall grade and, you know, what they've done. Now, if you want to look at another course, of course, you just use the breadcrumbs up here to go back to um, either the student or all the way back to summon if you want another student. And I don't know, let's look at planning. And you can see it's dark now. And we'll go into activity reports and again um, we could look at the um, overall report here, <coughs> or the outline report, and it says when they were last there, all that kind of stuff. Um, that's kind of the default and, and um, then we'll go into the grade report and you can see that this time uh, there's some feedback here. Um, well, lots of feedback for this uh, graduation planner, so it's nice to see. And we have all sorts of marks here and the feedback. So again, that's the grade report. So you'll be mostly interested in the outline report and the grade report. Uh, the complete report kind of combines the two, but it's a little bit overwhelming. So I think you'll probably find that the outline report and the grade report um, will give you most of the information you need as far as how a student is doing here. Thanks very much. Hope that helped. And um, we'll just go back to the home page here.